Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zoic Switzerland. Can we implement this beautiful graph animation from Revolut in five minutes or less? Let's have a look. So we already looked at this example, but the way we did it is was quite inefficient because we were always crossing the React Native Bridge. So we were setting a listener on the animation value, calculate doing some calculation to find out the position on the cursor for uh, every point on the graph, and then using set native props to um, update the position of the graph. So a bit inefficient, uh, you're guaranteed to lose some frames on low-grade Android devices. But recently in uh, Redash, which is this helper library for React Native Reanimated and Gesture Handler, we implemented tons of uh, utility functions for SVG and uh, path processing, and we implemented get point at length, which is what we want to do. So we want to know the X, Y position of the cursor for every point in the graph without crossing the React Native bridge. So let's have a look. So here I have my graph component, which is uh, built with D3. And then I have the cursor component, which is, our, which is gonna be what we're gonna animate across the graph. So I'm gonna add a pan gesture handler from gesture handler. So I'm going to wrap. So here I have two nested views, one which is a bit bigger, so the, that's the touchable area, and the circle in the middle, which is a little uh, point that we're going to animate. So I need to pass on state on just, let me check. on gesture event. So now we need to create the animation values that we need. So we need translation X, which is uh, gonna drive the animation. We are gonna need velocity X because we're gonna add some decay to the cursor and the state of the gesture. Now we can do the event handler declaration. So we're gonna use event from reanimated, native event, translation x, velocity x, state. All right, so now we need to calculate the cx value, which is simply the translation x plus some decay. So I'm gonna use DK from Redash. So translation X, state, and velocity. Now we need to calculate the length. So where, for each position of the gesture, where are we in the length of the path? And we can calculate it with a simple interpolation, right? So we go from zero to with with the finger goes from zero to with, and for this gesture, we go from zero to the total length of the graph. So interpolate x goes from zero with to zero to total length, so path dot total length. So let me create the path variable. So we're gonna do path equals parse path from Redash. So parse path parses an SVG path, normalizes it, and makes it available in a way that can be processed by reanimated, um, yeah, using reanimated values. So everything is denormalized and so on, and then we can apply different uh, reanimated functions on top of it. So we have like, for instance, total length. And from there, so for every position, we can calculate the C as a X and Y value. So now we can do get point at length. Uh, yes, perfect. So these are computed on the UI thread. 
we've reanimated. And now, finally, these are the X and Y values of the cursor. Because we, have the t uh, we need to center the cursor, we're just going to um, subtract half of the touchable area for uh, each value. So that gives us translate X is X minus touch size divided by two. And same for Y. Now I need to add the transform. And let's have a look. All right, so you see it perfectly uh, follows the SVG path. I think it's beautiful because we can do it with any random SVG path. It doesn't matter how the path is structured. And you have the nice decay. Perfect. So pretty cool, no? What do you guys think? And guys, if you like these videos, you can buy me a coffee to support the channel and I will give you access to the private GitHub repository where I tinker with all these examples. And if you have a new React Native project coming up, I recommend you check out React Native Elements Premium Starter Kit for React Native. It's 80% of what you need when starting a new React Native project. So that's it, guys. I'm looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.